don't text me. Don't call me. You said it kept, but then it came to a point where you stopped. Because what did you do? I'm giving you over to the Lord. I planted some seeds, and now I'm giving you over to the Lord. Now I come, I'm, I got you there, y'all. I come three, four, five months later, or even the next year, and I say, hey, what's going on? How you doing? You know, what's going on in your life? What will you do? Because I didn't receive you before, and I was nasty to you before. I had negative energy for before you before. Now what would you do? I mean, a person, I mean, like say, diplomacy, you know what I mean? Oh, it's all Yeah. That's it, just diplomacy? Absolutely. Not love. Just the policy. We won't be. That's okay. That's where you are right now. Yes. So now your mother, she needs something beyond diplomacy. She needs a delivery. She needs a deliverance. Something is going on with her, your grandmother, your baby brother. Somebody needs you to stand in the gap and have more than diplomacy for somebody else. You've got to show love to somebody else to help them. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Bishop said, Bishop said, in order for my prayers to be heard, and in order, in order for somebody to be delivered, I must help and love others. In order for deliverance for my family, for protection for my family. Am I making any sense to anybody? Amen. You get it? Diplomacy won't get you nowhere. That's just being very cordial. Let's just keep it very amicable. Let's just keep it very, have a nice rapport. That's all. I need more than that. Because now it's about saving the soul. So, and I'm not just talking about that other person's soul. I'm not just talking about that other person's soul you want to be diplomatic with. I'm talking about your soul. Somebody tell me what the Bible says if you, if you, God says, you, you, you so well, you kind of get what I'm on? What does the Bible say? Um, love others. Not more. The Bible say more than that's spirit you. As you love yourself, don't you love yourself, man? No. So you got to love others. That's what you call. You profess to be a Christian. You 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 are practicing Christian because you tired. You come to church. Now I know people that say they're Christian. Them just the the, the say the sayers the naysayers. Them the people that just say. Then you have people that literally practice Christianity, and that is that is. You tie, you come to church, you attend the church functions and all these things like that, right? So being diplomatic is just not enough. You have to go beyond. In this walk, you must go beyond. Then God has your hand up. Talk up louder, please. You don't. Because you're recording, so you gotta talk louder. Thank <laughs> you. 
how you love God, you ain't seen God. And you, you see see your brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But that, what Bishop said to me the other day, it, it truly, truly, truly was so, so powerful. He said that. He said, love can't, love can't. Never, never, never give up on nobody. He said, nobody. Because he said, just like this, he said, show me who Jesus gave up on. Amen. Amen. I'm going to use your mom as an example. Imagine if we, uh, you say, you know, Eugene, when you love your mom, you know, that bishop, and like maybe myself, and that's what it is. Imagine if we were just diplomatic with her. In your, in your sense of what's different, the diplomacy, if we were just diplomatic with her and not forbearing for her. Imagine how that would have been for her walk right now and how it could have kind of sway her or even hinder her or hurt her walk and she wouldn't be as elevated as she is. You see what I'm saying? Does it make any sense to you? I have to for the sake of for the sake of my children, for the sake of you all, for the sake of my mom and my dad, I have to be forbearing of others. I have to be the love and show the love that I profess that I am a Christian to others for their deliverance, for their healing, for your healing, for your deliverance. You understand? I cannot, there is no respected person. I can't pick and choose. Love does not pick and choose. You either love or you don't. Please don't tell me you love missionary, um, you love your mother, but you can't stand Sister Ebony. That's not love. Then you need to go, and we all need to go, and reevaluate what love is. And we just read it. We just read it. Um, I'm going to have Pastor, oh, Pastor Joe's report. I'm going to have Missionary Sierra. You got your Bible? Come bring your Bible forth. Um, those who are tuning in to Facebook Live, we're coming out of 1 Corinthians 13, verses um, 4 through 1 through 7. But we're doing a kind of role play where the saints are um, reading verses 4 through 7, and they're replacing the word love with I. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I'm talking to him. And your husband isn't here. I can't just use Jesus. No. Your husband. <laughs> see, wait. You see what we try to do? Something that's comfortable for us. We want to love out of comfort. We don't want to love the things that, that cause us to suffer. We don't want to deal with that. But that's the love that's going to take you to the next level. Ooh, that's the love that's going to heal people and get people delivered. You understand? It's easy to love the ones that we know and that we love and see every day, but the one, our enemies, or we tend to think as our enemies, our opportunities, those are the ones we need. Those are the ones that's going to show God that God don't matter what I'm going to, I'm not going to budge. I love you through it all. See, you loving, you loving your daughters. That's, that's, what, that's what you do. Love your enemies. Somebody that don't hurt you or curse you out. Then you're going to see something. You're going to see the manifestations of true love. You'll see the manifestations of true love when somebody, you love somebody that don't hurt you. I ain't talking about your grandma new new that made them good cheddar biscuits. Oh, that's really lost my <laughs> I'm talking about your enemy, saints. This is why people don't come to Christ no more. Because Christians are not walking out true love. We profess it to save souls and go and, and bring draw people to Christ and talk to people about this and that of God. But then they see us not walking it out. We are not doing it. Um, the word Christianity and love is do justice. That's why we can't get people to come. That's why we can't keep the pews filled. When people come to church, you got your eyes rolled, your nose tooted up. Don't move it. Don't want to sit by them. Don't want to just say, how you doing? Is everything okay? I just come in. I hear the word. You heard the word. We both leave our door, go in our cars, and go our separate way. We don't even fellowship. We don't even fellowship. We don't even talk to one another. Okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. She wants to put you out there, Teddy. Kwame. Uh, okay. 
My love is patient and kind.
But we sometimes do that, people. If you can't be how I want you to be, then no, I don't want to deal with you. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. Right no, you tell the truth. I'm just talking to myself. No, I try to pimp people truth. love. If you can't do something for me, or if you can't do do it how I want you to do it, uh -oh. I don't want to deal with you. Uh -oh. And I call myself a Christian. I wear that with a badge of honor. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. The women that I work with, they are very, they, 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 they um, they said they're being selfish because they don't want to let me go on day shift. They don't want to let me go on day shift. But two of them who we pray together at the um, job, one of them, the evangelist, she said, no, but we cannot be selfish anymore with Trina. She got, that means God has to go on day shift for a reason. They, they some party animals on the day show. I'm going to tell y'all, because they work during the day, they party at night. We work at night, so we sleep during the day. But she said, no, it's the reason why God have her going on day show. Even if it's temporary, however long I'm going to be on day show. But they said, so we, she told the other one, so we got to let her go. And she was like, but I don't want her to go on day show. I don't want her to go. She said, we got to let her go because she got a job to do. She said, when you get on day show, open your mouth. She said, because they need to know about the Lord. They Amen. need to know about Jesus. They need to open your mouth. Miss Janet didn't tell me that. And I say, yes, I am. Yes, I will. I say, however long God keeps me there, I got something to do for the Lord on day shift. Amen. So that's what I'm going to do. Lord. And the thing is, they wouldn't have said that about me had I not been a, conducting myself a certain way. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They would have not seen a light in me to carry somewhere else. I'm not saying that the day shift full of darkness or however it goes, but there's some souls that need to be touched on the day shift right. however it goes. Patients, staff, whatever. That's right. So they saw some type of light in me, and this girl carried herself in a certain way, and she walks in a certain way that they see that they know I can carry somewhere else and they can trust that I can carry somewhere else and they can trust me being a fellow Christian to carry it out. Amen. Can I trust you being a fellow Christian to carry out love like I expect for you to carry out love? Can Bishop be all the way in Orlando and know that while he's in Orlando the things he's taught us, can we still yet be here and carry out the things that the Holy Spirit has given him to teach us about love? Hallelujah. Can he trust that? They can trust that their colleague, who they pray with, who they could encourage, talk to me about their problems, and I encourage them, and we do Bible study when we get a chance on the job. They say, that's a fellow Christian. That's the epitome of a Christian. Am I perfect? No. But I tell you what, I strive and press to the goal. As Paul said, when we end on the word, hallelujah, Philippians, I don't profess to be perfect, but I have one focus. So forget about the past and focus on those things, those things ahead. That's what I'm saying, right? Amen. That's what the word saying. That's what the word saying. So we have to do that. We have to put, we have to put the emphasis of um, the basis of Christianity back where it belongs, and that's love. Yeah. I, I want I want us all to say, I want to be able to send somebody to you and say, you gonna you gonna come across a woman of God, she ain't gonna do nothing but show you some love. Even your enemies. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Go back to her. I promise you she's still going to love you. You somebody that done hurt you or done broke you down, that's yeah. okay. Go back. Because I, I know I can send you back to Missionary Montez because I know she walk in love. So go back. Even though you hurt her, even though she cussed you out, I know you go back, she's going to still love you. I can trust that. That's what I want to trust and believe. Yes. That's what I want to stand on. Yes. That I know that Bishop says Bishop can be in Orlando. And he can say, go to 1701 Northwest 8th place. I know the people over there. They're going to show you some love. Amen. No, Bishop, I done, I done cut some people out over there. I done said some things to some people and I done hurt some people. Trust me. Go back. Amen. Go back. Go back. Go back. Because I trust the love that's instilled in them. I know they're going to do the right thing. Amen. So now when you're bickering and when you when somebody is going back and forth to however it goes, somebody, you, I'm not saying somebody, I'm going to say you have to be the one to grab your Bible and read 1 Corinthians 13, 
4 through 7 and put yourself in the place of that love. Because you are professing to be loved. If you are not willing to walk that out, don't you dare open your mouth and tell anybody you love them. Not even your very own babies. Not your very own babies. Your children. Don't you even open your mouth and tell them you love them if you can't love your enemy. Which is what? An opportunity to show love. I'm going to have my husband. I had you all read your verses. And my husband is going to come and read the verse. And um, amen. He's going to put the I, amen, in the place of the love. Praise the Lord. How many of you enjoying the study tonight? Oh yeah. 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 I hope y'all enjoyed the study, faithful God. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talks the love. Look at all the parts floating around. Amen. 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 First Corinthians. Uh oh. Say I with Facebook. Speak up louder. Bishop, say speak up louder in the mic. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 13. I could speak all the languages on earth. <laughs> okay, amen, amen. I love is patient. No, don't say love, just say hi. See how come? Amen. I am patient. Amen. I am kind. I am not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Amen. I am not I do not demand my own way. I am not irritable. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory. I am not irritable, and I keep no record of being wrong. I do not rejoice about injustice, but I rejoice whenever the truth wins out. I never give up. I never lose faith. I am always hopeful. I endure through every circumstance. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So I'm going to read, and I'm going to say, out of these eyes and these glasses a little different now. <laughs> Hold that, honey. Know the eyes. I got to take the rest of off. This is what has to do. It says this. We are patient and kind. Yes. We are not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. We do not demand our own way. We are not irritable and we keep no record of being wrong. We do not rejoice about injustice, but we rejoice whenever the truth wins, when God wins. We never give up. We have not given up. We never lose faith. We are always hopeful. We endure through any circumstance. Amen? Amen. 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 Happy anniversary. Amen. Oh, oh, amen. Glory to God. So, this is how your enemy wants to feel. This is how you win souls. That's right. This is how love wins over every time. How many of you have heard that 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 old saying? Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. It's a cliche, but it works wonders. Yeah. Amen? Amen. When you feel yourself in a, 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 a moment of being heated or being angry or being unforgiving, because you cannot think you're gonna get through the kingdom and have an unforgiveness about you. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all can't. 
Please tell me where it's in the Bible that you can be unforgiving and get to the kingdom of God. You can inherit the things of the kingdom. So I just, I, I Facebook, YouTube, I encourage us all as Christians to lean on this scripture and replace the I or the, the love with the I or the we. Whenever you feel like you want to, you know what, this is a heated moment and this is not a God. Right. This moment right here going on, this, this tension, this anger, that's not the spirit of the Lord. Amen. And we ain't going to get nowhere with this. Right. We're not going to get anywhere with this. So you, I'm challenging you all to pick up your word and recite this to whoever you're having that situation with. Yes. Amen. And Amen. even encourage them to recite it after you recite it. Say, this is not what God wants. In the midst, literally, in the midst. Ding, ding, ding. Y'all, I'm talking about y'all. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. The bell say, ding, ding, ding. Say, man. The bell, that light bulb went off. This ain't what God wants. This ain't what God wants us to be. This ain't how God wants us to be. This is not how we're going to save souls for the kingdom. Being this way. Somebody got to yield. Amen. Come on, let's read what God say about love. I love you, man. Let me show you how I love you. Amen. Woman, I love you. You hear me? Right. Show live. Amen. Does anybody have imp any impartations about the study tonight? Anybody have anything they want to say? I'm just so thankful for it. Praise the Lord. Really me too. She inspired it. I want to let y'all know. But she, yeah, after yeah. she talked to me, I say, let me find that darn scripture. Because I was going to teach on something else. But I, did I tell you? Yeah. I say, thank you for inspiring the study well, tonight. I, I, I just really want to say that I really enjoyed it. And I, now, that, now I know I am not loved and it's like it's supposed to love. Yeah. So I, I really, I really. Amen. 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 We need a love check. We just need a love Amen. check. Amen. I just got one. <laughs> Amen. That old woman of God, go. That old woman of God, go. Amen. Anybody else want to share? Deacon Sherbert? Um, go ahead. It's amazing how God works. And it's morning. They had me carry me this morning, so I shared my story about the money I found. Oh, I heard it. And the other guy said he did the same thing, but he kept me from the money. And at night, I went through this last night, the person, you know? And it basically the same thing, but I didn't word it. Bible you know? love, love, love is, is nice. It like, is. Like, it feels good. Amen. You know what I'm saying? The person that cussed me out, that came to my house, pushed me out, out of my door. Great. Day in the morning. But they called me, they were to I picked them up. So I'm going to pick them up, take them back to the house and eat them, and leave, bring them back. This man on five months. Lay it down, but ain't nothing else. Mm -hmm. No? Amen. My goodness, what's wrong with me? Did something good happen by now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, like you say, it didn't depend on what you do, what you what, what I'm going to do. No. It's, 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 it's All love. those things are nothing love without love. Love and discernment. Yes. Love is all Nothing they go together.
and then you let God do the water. Amen. It's not for you to try to give them you, give them you, give them you. You continue to display love. Display love, display love. You don't have to continue to keep talking, 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 da, da, da. Just continue to be what love is. Kind, patient, you want to say gentle, very gentle, self-control, temporal, temperance. Just continue to be what love is. Amen. You don't have to keep, the, well, I'm talking to them, but they just say, plant the seed. Let God do the watering. Amen? Amen. 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 You, um, any, Manny, I know you had your hand up. You had your hand up? You say something? Oh, Keisha, missionary Keisha. Anybody on Facebook have any questions? They're just saying to study. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm ready to speak up. How many times? Me too, sis.
will be patient. You understand? Now, and if you have to keep on and then you start praying and speaking and you start calling on the name of Jesus, you understand? Because don't let that thing take you out, take love out of you. That's the problem. We let people snatch love right up out of us. It's so easy to take it from you. You let somebody so easily snatch it up out of you. I'm for real. We let people easily snatch love right up out of us. In the midst when we don't even know what's coming. We don't even know what's about to come for God's people. And if you let your neighbor, your co-worker snatch the love out of you, how you gonna stand when the true fire comes? How you gonna pray and rejoice and worship the Lord when the true fire comes? When they cut off your debit card and they close your account because you won't serve them. You won't take the mark of the beast because you won't serve them. What you gonna do? Hallelujah. When they attack our infrastructure. When the Antichrist comes to attack our infrastructure. You mean to tell me you have not a room? This is this is it training ground right here. Your neighbors and your enemies is the training ground right now. Because when the true fire comes, you're going to have to be able to stand, to withstand. Do you understand? Y'all watching TV in Trump? <laughs> Do y'all watch that foolishness? When he health care cut off, business cut off, discipline, whatever, whatever, you can't go, you can't get a job unless you go get a, a Trump stamp. <laughs> you understand? Trust in the Lord. You have to have a love for God and love for Jesus and love for your enemy like you never had before. You understand? You still cannot hate. In the midst of all that despair and in, in the midst of all those attacks and all those things going on, you still gonna have to still show love. Because you still want, I want to be caught up in the rapture. Me too, <laughs> So in the midst of having to endure all those things, we gotta show love. Amen? Amen. I do, I do love it. So what you said is, no matter what Trump do, you got to love that man. And you got to pray for him. So now here you are, a Christian, and professing to be forbearing. And your co-worker here, you talk about the president. You a Christian? You, 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 you call yourself a Christian? You're supposed to love, no Christian's supposed to love everybody? Yeah, but not that man. Are you serious? You still shaking your head? No, no, I'm talking about no. Yeah, you, you have to. Like that. I, I know, I know, I know. I know. That's why I say this, this walk is real and it's, it's, it's a walk of fire. You understand? Know but it's a, it's attainable. It's, it's, you can live it. You can do it. You just have to not want your own way, like love says. Not want your own way and you have to die to self. Bishop, that was the most ever profound message she ever one of the most profound messages ever preached was die to yourself. How many of y'all know that? That was, I mean, on the money. You got to die to self. To truly love. All right, we're going to take up our children. Everybody give the Holy Spirit a hand clap for that.